I got my system set up again. Got maybe a little bit too much water in there, but uh, got the miracle mat out now. We're gonna run this after we've already ran the hog mat. Got my material, all my tailings put back together now, and I got my gold. Okay, I had to pause for a second. I had kids with arrows making noise in the backyard, but anyways. So here I got my gold from the, the gold hog mat recovered. I'm gonna sprinkle a little in here. Sprinkle a little in here. Sprinkle a little more. Happy, happy, happy. out of here and don't forget what the gold hog missed All right. break out the drill hope the battery's still charged Switch it to one gear. Yeah, so slow. Yeah, still makes sense. All right, got it all mixed up. Got my scooper. Let's turn around and start feeding it. Right, here we go. Circle mat. Some gold on the mat already. Cool beans. See it? There it is. There it is. All right. Nothing but fun. First bucket onto the miracle mat, and I am gonna have to say I'm pretty impressed. I actually think miracle mat is gonna outperform hog mat. Got some gold all the way down here. Got some gold down here. I haven't looked down below yet, so dun 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 Okay, there we see some gold, four pieces of gold there. Ooh, another one. Don't see what's down for this side. Let's go look on the other side. Ooh. All right, what do we got going on here? Oh, there's one. There's another one. So, riddle me this, Batman. Camera that won't focus. Does the physics test of lead and sinkers and tungsten kind of play a parallel tune? I think it does. It's pretty interesting to see if this one flips over and catches under that riffle. You know, and actually, believe it or not, I am impressed here how this gold has tucked under these riffles right here in this first row. I 
am impressed. Um, cool. All right. Well, let's run. I'm going to empty this, switch this out to the second bucket here, and we'll run the second bucket. Turning the pump on and off on these other maps is kind of a interesting deal. You know, it's kind of like you cringe when you got to do it. Because of what, it, what you see it do in the mat, you know, how you see the gold move and jump. And, and you know, I'm just glad that I, in, with what we've developed in Dream Map, that's really, shouldn't even be a thought anymore, you know. I'm a little soupy here because I rinsed the one bucket into the other and I'm just trying not to drip off the crap into the... <laughs> on the ground and whatnot. All right. Well, here we are. The final results. This guy didn't go nowhere. Neither did that guy. Got a little rinse out up here when I was rinsing the bucket out, you know, because I have to rinse the bucket out, get everything out of it, you know. Ain't much I can do about that. Do it, do it doesn't do it in all of them. And you can see it kind of blew a little bit of stuff clear here. But anyways, got to rinse the bucket out, get all the gold out of it. I've got a choice. Now we come down here and we still see one, two, three, four chunks of gold. Another four chunks of gold. Another chunk of gold over here. Bast it. Look at that. Dream at so far. May have been the only one. Look at that big gold in there. Catch all the big flat gold. You guys don't think it's real? Come show up with the marketing cameras and fancy stuff and run your dirt. I'll have my eight-year-old scoop the dirt into the dream mat and you guys can do your stuff but we'll do a time feed because the bucket's got to go through the sluice in a certain amount of time so we'll put some gold right at the bottom so if you run out of time because you're kind of nursing it then you don't get the big nuggets but anyways buddy this is this is where it's at this is called just every day scoop it in run it the same same pump same water flow same angle same setup nothing's changed no adjustments on the knobs i always perfectly level it every time when I set it up just to make sure it's tuned in you know top trays and bottom trays but you know this is this is the deal migration you know a lot of people out there saying Dave what is dream at doing for me you know why should I do a dream at well you're not going to migrate your gold um as bad we feel we have developed a system that breaks the back of migration is what we call it because here you got this pencil it's rolling down the, the mat. And it comes to this little spot right here. And here, like my knuckle, it breaks the back of that pencil, stands it up, puts it on in, spins it on a vertical axis, and brings it back up. So now that pencil, that secondary boundary layer, has been destroyed. And it has to reform again. But it only got a couple seconds. And then it gets its back broken, spun, set back up again. So Dream Mat breaks the back of migration. Here we got this mat, and we're rolling, 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 rawhide. Okay, there's the nice singing, but anyways, there's nothing that breaks the back of migration. There's nothing that breaks the back of the secondary boundary layer that is rolling in the same direction as out the box. Dream Mat, my opinion, has the only profile that breaks the back of migration. And that's why we see gold leave the box. And that's just the physics behind it, guys. And that's what we're looking at. Call it what it is, but it's basically engineering. Miracle back cleans up nice, you know. Gotta say something about that. Don't have no precious moments like I had with the other mat that, you know, falling apart, having them uh, issues. And, anyways, gotta say it for what it is. I had to dump some water on a tray, it was too deep, but there's your Miracle Mat Gold. Let's go separate it out and weigh it and see what it says. 
and we'll dump the see the total weight and then we'll dump the dream out again through the eighth inch tray and just to see what boomers are showing up on the radar well i don't know i don't think miracle mat beat hog mat we got more gold in the the bottom screen that was in the dream mat that's around above eighth inch than the hog mat did. Hmm. I was thinking for some crazy reason all those little riffles being consistent were going to maybe do a better job of you know flipping that gold out like on those high ramps i will be getting a lot of slack about that, you know, using the wrong hog mat. You know, got lots of advice, you know, when you got a gazillion different patterns. And, and if you do the math on that, you know, I actually should have one of my engineering buddies do the math on that. How many possible hog mat combinations you can have with their mat in like three foot and then like four foot? You know, because the math is just huge, you know, the different combinations. Jeez, look at this big one right here. It doesn't even look, it's like it was so big it was just... <laughs> I didn't even think it was <laughs> nugget. Oh, jeez. I'm not trying to be a jerk. I just like to have fun. I like to race. Get a lot of opinions out there. I'm going to put out some videos. And this is my opinion. And um, uh, everybody thinks that this opinion isn't valid, come race. We'll see. All right. And time's going to tell. Time is the, always the big equalizer, just like an evolution, you know, I'm teasing. But um, uh, time's the big deal. We're going to see through time. You know, people are going to adapt to systems like this because they solve the problem of migration and in the industrial applications also that are coming up. Really pretty exciting guys. You know, the university studies that are going on and some other studies that are going on. It's there's a reason why those studies are going on. These people have interest in this and they see benefits. And it's just anyways. We shall see. Time always tells. Cons for the miracle map. Here we are at the table. We are going to Miracle Mat actually blows off a lot of the bigger stuff. You know, I mean, as far as the bigger um, uh, chunks of dirt and stuff. So it almost like self classifies as concentrates. Um, there we go. We're just going to run this material and we'll see what we get. Miracle Mat, <laughs> what it caught. Let's put her on the scale and see what she says. Okay, Miracle Mac Gold. Semi dry. I just put a rag in the top of there and suck all the water out. Flip it upside down. The gold's big enough on top. Nothing sticks to the rag. You see how I. You know, it's not going to burn it off with the torch. No, this is going to go right back in the dirt again. So, anyways, you can see there's no water in the bottom, so it's not adding any. Just a little moist. So here's our cup, identical cup. Zero it out. 24 and a half is what uh, Miracle Mat caught. This is the gold that went through the big stuff that above the quarter inch or eighth inch screen. Five and a half grams. So, the big total for Miracle Mat is twenty-four point five seven.